Hi kids! Today we will learn about different types of gears. So let's start. We know gears are the wheels with teeth. And gears always work in pairs. Teeth of one gear interlock with the teeth of the other gear or they are meshed. Many gears joined with each other is called a gear train. Driver is the first gear that starts the movement. Gears turn on the axle, which in turn turns the wheel of the object to be moved. So gears transfer forces and motion from one object to another and makes our work easier and faster. Gears can change the speed of moving objects. Gears can change the direction of moving objects too, but not both at the same time. Gears also work like a cross belt pulley system, but advantage over the cross belt pulley system, that is, teeth on the gears prevent slippage. When two different sides of gears mesh, mechanical advantage is produced. Different gears differ from each other in the way teeth are arranged, their types of teeth, and the way axles are put together. Also, the angle at which teeth meet. Now, let's learn each type of gear one by one. First one is spur gear or straight gear. Spur gear or straight gears have their teeth straight and parallel to the axle of the wheel. Their main purpose is to transmit power and motion between two parallel shafts. Spur gears are most common gears. Spur gears are easier to manufacture, but they produce sound and vibrations that can be too much at high speeds. That is, they produce too much noise. Helical gear. Helical gears remove the disadvantage of bevel gears and they are called skew gears. In helical gears, the teeth of gears are not parallel to the shaft. Teeth are inclined at some angle, which is less than 50 degrees. Helical gears have more power than spur gears, and they also produce less noise and vibration. And their main function is to reduce speed. Now let's learn about bevel gears. Bevel gear. Bevel gears are used to shift power from one direction to another. If the force is coming to the shaft from X axis, but we need this force in some other direction. Let's say Y direction. Here comes the role of bevel gears. They shift all the force from the X axis towards the required axis. So they help in changing the direction of the moving object. Next, we have worm gear. Here is a screw-like gear, drives a big circular gear, and this arrangement is known as worm gear. It reduces speed, but gives more power or force. It can also be used in changing the direction of the motion. Some power source like a motor, can be used to drive the screw-like gear. Next, we have rack and pinion gear. Here, the rack is a straight bar with teeth on it and other gear mesh with it. It changes the circular motion to linear motion. It is used in cliff and hill climbing, and rack railroads, car steering systems, 
weighing scales, and many more types of machines. So kids, today we learned that there are different types of gears, and each type of gear have a different type of function. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye.